is Ray again. Coming back with some good information for y'all. The name of this video is How Do I Become Health Conscious? I get this question a lot. Um, you know, a lot of people, they start to hear that eating all the red meat causes cancer. All of this sugar causes diabetes. Um, all of this vegetable oils causing all of these inflammation and all of these other health issues. So how, they want to know how do they even go about changing their diet. So the key word right there is change. See, it's been estimated that humans operate majority on something called the reptilian brain. The reptilian brain is the oldest part of the human brain. When humans used to live in nature with other animals, we were always under attack, had to run, had to get food, had to survive. It was always a constant state of fear, flight, and flee. But right now, we live in the cities now. We have conquered the animal kingdom, so we live separate from nature. But a lot of people, their consciousness is still there at survival. So when you're at survival, you eat anything you only you don't think long term you only think if I eat this right now will I live or will I die so people know that they can eat a big piece of pork right now drink some soda um, some MSG food and they're not gonna die immediately that's what the reptilian brain is about it's about repeating 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 and about immediate survival so to become health conscious you must rise above the reptilian brain and to rise above the reptilian brain you must first study the body and how it functioned with, with the different organs which minerals which vitamins they need and which foods provide that um, most of us eat based on just following our culture and the culture all of our cultures just eat off the reptilian brain just what what is um, what grand what grandma does? What the society does? They, they don't they don't even take into consideration if these foods are healthy for us. So the first thing you need to do to become health conscious: open your refrigerator right now. Ask yourself how did this food get in there? Was it because it tastes good? Because it was healthy for me? Or because it was just something everybody else is doing? You want to have food in your refrigerator that's healthy for you, and you know it's why why it's healthy for you. And you also want to have food that tastes good. Nobody's saying that being health conscious should be something that is boring or punishment. It's not enjoyment, but it definitely takes some awareness. You have to ask yourself when you drink, when you from breakfast, lunch, and dinner, is this healthy right here? Is this just for for taste? If you're eating just for taste and you don't know what the vitamin, minerals, the antioxidants are in there. You're setting yourself up for a disease. Everybody that we see on the planet that has gained 250, 350, 450 pounds, none of them did so consciously. They all just were following and just were in that reptilian mode of repetition, just mindless eating. So I, that, that's basically how you become health conscious. Um, study the body. Um, study the different what the body needs to function at its optimum performance and separate from the way the society eats especially if you're in America which over 90 percent of Americans eat too much sodium um, one in three Americans are obese right now a lot of people are diabetic so if you don't want to be a part of that that party over there that's what you need to do you need to understand what's going on why the people obese? Why, just you know, you have to you have to use reason. And the reptilian brain, as I said before, it does not care about reason. It doesn't think longevity. It only thinks immediate survival and repeat. If your parents, like most of our parents, didn't know, they grew us eating the food that was what the culture ate and what they were familiar with. So even if your friends and family look at you crazy when you're at the table, or you don't want to, nah, I don't want no fried chicken, I'm good. I don't want no Kool-Aid. Because they don't know, they still, they in repetition mode. 
That's what you got to do. Raise above repetition mode. Start asking questions and you'll be all right. Peace.